Hi, I'm Scott Wonder from Wonderwoods. Getting ready to work on a new walnut bar. I just did the cardboard on top here as a template, and I was just scrubbing on the bottom here so I know where the wall's at. So when we got this back in the shop and we're building it, we know how it sits on the wall so we can get all the supports done. I've got everything in place held with these nice water bottles, which were handy and sitting here to use the weights. I'm going to bust this down, take it back to the shop, and start building the bar. This bar rail looks really meaty, but there's actually not a lot to it. It's got a big curve, but it's got these cutouts in the back to fit over the edge on the blank. So it goes like this. Right there, like that. So there'll be a hollow space basically underneath it. But it looks really big and thick once it's all put together. So it gets that. And then on the back side, it gets that. So the boys are working on a dust collector. I don't have a dust collector right now, but I'm going to keep working. I'll just sweep up later. Kind of big, kind of heavy. I need to get some straight edges on them, so I just put them in the CNC and I manually just cut the straight lines on them. That way they'll be all jointed and ready to go. And I don't have to carry these big boards around. The other thing that's cool about using the CNC cut the straight edges is not that it just gives me a nice clean edge, which it does, but I can also program the width. I know I want these boards to be 12 inches wide, so I just zeroed out the X and Y axis, and then I can mainly just drive it over. I've got it set up a little bit higher. I can just, I can just drive it over until I'm at 12 and a half because the bit's a half inch wide, so right there. 12.5. Now we have two boards, 12 inches wide, with nice straight edges. I started out with some really wide walnut boards, which are these middle ones right here. They were wide enough to make the entire bar, at least in the rough, but after I got cleaning them up and straightened up the sides, they weren't wide enough uh, to make the entire bar with the with the front underhangs that goes underneath this molding right here. So there's a little cutout, so this has a overhang. And on the front, there's a big overhang too. So after I got them cleaned up, I realized I needed to add a little bit of wood back in there. So that's what I'm gluing these strips on for. And they're really just gonna support the molding on the outside. They are not gonna be visible. So I made sure to have the wide boards right here be what is going to be visible for the bar. So it's going to look like one wide board all the way across there, just that these are going to be under the molding. So that's what I'm gluing up right now. It's a nice rainy day this morning, and I am using whatever available space I can find in the shop, and I don't mind working on the floor. It's a nice big flat table as far as I'm concerned. 
Now we're ready to go. Let's finish tightening up the clamps. And she's ready to go. I just got all the planks out of the clamps. I put them through the sander at 36 grit. Now I'm getting ready to do them at 100 grit. And then after that I'll sand them at 150 grit with the orbital sander to finish them up. the CNC table mostly because it's here and available and wide open but also because it's big and flat to put these together to line them up to make sure that the seams look good which they do look nice I wouldn't show you if they didn't probably the seam looks good and so now I'm gonna start working on the trim for this return I can't do or I didn't do this return I didn't glue it onto the piece yet because down there it's got a piece that kicks around and I got to cut a miter on that so it wouldn't have worked pretty, it wouldn't have worked very well glued up to begin with so that's what I'm working on next and of course working on the joint here to pull these together I just got done drilling and preparing the domino slots for these to join together what I've done is I've drilled five slots these two are going to get regular dominoes regular wood dominoes which are, which are going to get glued together and then these three slots get the quick connectors, these pins. So I got the first seam put together right here, made a nice corner. I moved it off the CNC over here to another part of the shop where I've got a little bit more room.
Yesterday we worked on all the trim, got it all glued up, got a couple little pieces to do back here. Other than that, it's going to be a little bit of sanding, or a lot more sanding, and then put the finish on. final bar top. Now it's time to go put it in. Focus on me, I guess. Focus on me! <laughs> <laughs> I hate right there, man. But it's true. <laughs> You're so sweaty. <laughs> so Actually, hot. Like <laughs> you got it? Yeah. Okay, you take one. Keep. There you go. Oh, man. The glue's coming out nice now. Wow. 